Hey guys, hope you're well and good. Uh, my name is Sid and I'm one of the Vice Presidents for MedSoc this year and here I have with me. Hi, I'm John V. I'm a second year and I'm a co-president of MedLife Nottingham along with Ellie. Lovely to meet you John V. Um, can I start by asking what is the purpose of your society? So MedLife actually stands for Medicine, Education and Development for low-income families everywhere. It is an organization that aims to empower people in their fight for equal access to healthcare, education, and a safe home. We at MedLife Nottingham try to support MedLife's efforts, and this may be either by raising funds for MedLife's missions or for a service learning trip at the end of the academic year, where a group of students goes to one of the communities that MedLife helps, either in South America or East Africa. So on these trips, we would help run mobile clinics for the people of those communities who use these services free of cost. This would include shadowing doctors from different specialities like GPs, OBGYNs, working in triage, etc. And this is actually sustained work. So if any patient needs follow-up care, MedLife also provides this free of cost. And so most of their work is dependent on their chapters and our fundraising. A part of the trip is also getting involved in a developmental project to help make their lives a little easier and so in the past these have included building libraries or staircases in hilly regions. Um, more information on the trip is also available on our social media. Our main goal over the summer has been raising money for a medlife uh, project called Moving Mountains which aims to provide families that were disproportionately affected by the pandemic with food and care packages that they would otherwise be unable to access and MedLife has actually provided over 2,000 meals daily to families over the summer. We also try to help local communities by organizing volunteering events and collaborating with other societies in an effort to help alleviate local poverty. That sounds great. Um, what kind of events do you guys normally organize? So the two kinds of events that we usually host are either fundraising events or educational sessions. So for example, we would invite experts on global health, let's say, for a panel discussion or guest speakers. We also plan on hosting smaller fundraising events fairly frequently with special events less frequently, but on a bigger scale. Our Take Me Out last year for Valentine's Day was a big success. So we plan on hosting similar events for such seasons. We are planning to collaborate with other societies and MedLife chapters across the UK and Europe as well. Um, with like COVID-19 and like social distance regulations and things like that in place, what kind of, um, what's your plan for events with that kind of stuff? Uh, so we're, yeah, so we're um, quite a new society. We were formed only last year and recognized uh, later on in the year. Um, so it's been quite hard planning um, given the current situation. So we're hoping to host events both virtually and in person if the situation allows it. Some of the events include fundraising challenges with other MedLife chapters that can be done virtually. We have planned our events in such a way that if, it's, uh, if we're unable to host them in person, it would work perfectly fine in a virtual setting as well. So our first main event is actually an info session that would cover what we do as a society and provide more details on the service learning trip. And it's, uh, we think it's a great way to meet other people who are interested in MedLife as well. Brilliant. And, um, and lastly, what would be like the best way to contact you guys and like your social media details and things like that? So we're quite active on Instagram and Facebook. Our Instagram is Medlife Nottingham and our Facebook is Medlife Nottingham University. You can also get in touch by email, which is os-medlife. Feel free to reach out to Ellie and I as well. Um, our details are on our social media. Fab. Um, that was really informative. Uh, Medlife such a brilliant society and I I hope all you freshers have kind of got a good picture about what it's all about. So yeah, thank you so much for your time, John V. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing new faces next year. Thank you so much.